we challenge some of the decor industry's leading minds to set an unforgettable table using mostly what's in your house already. First was chef and designer Jacques Erasmus. You have followed the brief perfectly. It doesn't look like you spent a whole lot of money, but it still looks glamorous. Well, Jeannie, I started with a very plain uh, neutral colors so I decided on black white and a bit of chocolate brown um, keeping it fairly simple really sort of a melange of what you've got at home in your cupboard instead of doing a more traditional um, cutlery setting I've just decided to do a little ensemble of all the cutlery I've tied the main course plates with some chocolate brown ribbon to go with that covered the table basically with a piece of you know very inexpensive sackcloth just dyed black the jars are simply that jars vases or glasses filled with herbs spices seeds or any natural products you have sitting in your pantry to that rich, wholesome display on the table, you then add something to excite. Now this is my weakness. I don't know if I'd be able to stare at this chunk of chocolate throughout the meal. I'm going to be serving hot chocolate after the meal, so why not make it part of your deco element? So I've just decided to use these large chunks of bitter chocolate, and basically I'm just going to be serving a jug of hot steaming milk on the table, and everyone can make their own chocolate after the meal. Mmm, can't wait for that. But Jeannie, there's a couple of final touches, which we still have to do, so you can come and get your hands dirty. Great. Over here we've got glass jars. Everyone's got an empty glass jar at home. Um, piece of paper and I think you can actually help us to pour. Uh, you could use ordinary rice. Um, this is just some rice that I had in the, in the pantry. But it matches your colour scheme. Exactly. Let's get that in there. Only half of that about. Perfect. And then finally, we're just going to stick in a good old oh, white candle. Great. If you want to make your guests feel extra special, get your local craft shop to cut out their initials in polystyrene. You can then spray paint them to suit your colour scheme. That aside, sticking to what's under your roof already is creatively stimulating and thirsty work. Jeannie, we've got another table to do. Sorry. <laughs> Let's grab some of these cordials and get them on the table. This is a great way to rediscover wedding gifts and heirlooms. Now that is such a novel idea, putting your teas and your juices and all of the decanters. It's moving away from the classic alcohols in there, so I think this is also maybe a bit better for lunchtime, botanical, a little bit on the lighter side, I think. I adore the idea that I don't need to wash the tablecloth after lunch. These aged floral designs are printed on paper. Well, you've been having hot chocolate, I think tea is actually the success story of this table. Okay. So over here I've got a photocopy of a botanical um, print and we're going to add a little bit of character to it. This is black tea, um, tea bags, a little bit of water and we're just simply going to rub this, you know, I mean as you like. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, I think so. Simple. The entire atmosphere of a dinner party changes when guests can see and feel that the host put time into the decor. Next I think I'm going to show you how really to make a simple cordial. Okay. So over here I've got an empty decanter and I'm basically just going to put, you could use lavender if you like, fresh herbs. We're going to make use of some dried jasmine flowers. So in goes a couple of spoons, top up with some sparkling or still water and pop in the fridge. Perfect. Done. Children's toys add a playful touch, and instead of cut flowers... The best is still to come. I've really? got one more surprise. <laughs> okay, show me. You're going to absolutely love it. Let me show you. Oh, wow. That is just beautiful. Time-lapse flower images like these are available online or put a series of your own photographs on slideshow. Now, to get that oh-so-French look without completely replacing your tableware, stylist Henrik Wilding and lifestyle blogger Colette Nell used grey and white to create a picture of relaxed elegance. 
they like to play with different coloured candles. In this instance, they chose black. This table looks amazing. It's definitely my kind of table when the biggest decor items are edible. Bread is an essential in every French table. We made these beautiful um, photocopies of invoices, tied them around our old French invoices, and we tied them around our bread. It adds such fantastic contrast that all of the napkins are different shades. It's becoming more rare to find large sets. So what we've done here is we've dyed them all in the same color, gray to match with this table. Because sometimes you find them and they've got imperfections or they're yellowed with age and it's a very in uh, trend at the moment. Yeah. This is such a good saving tip because whenever I entertain I spend a fortune on flower arrangements and here we haven't used it and it's just as effective. Yes, absolutely. We've just gone to the garden and picked some olives that are still about to ripen. If you and your garden had something like figs or lemons but something with a leaf it's a lovely symbolism as well well ladies you've certainly outdone yourselves and i'm going to be wrapping my bread in future what have you got for our next look well genie we can attack the same elements but go less formal and you're gonna love it for this harvest celebration, old grain bags were used as table runners and French tea towels instead of serviettes. If you're struggling, put a bunch of items on your table and allow ideas to come to you. Now this looks so inviting. I love that French kitchen country look. It was so easy and quick to do. We added red candles. And we're picking up on the little bits of red in the napkins and the bread and the cheese. And we're trying to use our cheese and bread as decor elements to try and save costs. It's so clever using the food to be the same color as your theme. What's your favorite part about it? It was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very uh, Provencal. It reminds me of kind of really relaxed holidays and yes. it's, it's just informal and relaxed. With some basic pieces and a bit of creativity, you can entertain in style without unnecessary cost. As Standard Bank's Feroz Borat told Benung, this is the message of their latest initiative for July's National Savings Month. Why did you decide on a 21-day challenge? The 21-day challenge is based on the premise that it takes 21 days to build a new behavior. And we want to help South Africans build new behaviors around saving. South Africans are under a bit of financial pressure. After the month is over and all those commitments are made, there's very little, if anything, left over to save. So we want to show South Africans through this challenge that by making little changes in your life, it can have a really significant impact on freeing up disposable income so that you can, in fact, save. How would I go about saving? <laughs> well, Benang, you strike me as the kind of girl who really likes her shoes. I die for them, actually. <laughs> well, consider this. If you were to buy one less pair of shoes a month, how much would you end up with at the end of the year? Lots and lots. Exactly. Give up something small or purchase less of it. That becomes a habit and soon you too can have a slice of the best of the good life. Standard Bank supports National Savings Month. Join our 21-day savings challenge on Facebook and you could win 1,000 Rand towards your savings goal. For more, visit standardbank.co.za forward slash savings.